All right, what's up guys? Uh, this is gonna be my second video of the day. This is just gonna be real quickly how to install and download torrents on your Android handset. Um, for this tutorial, I will be using a torrent because since I rooted my phone, uh, for some reason when I try to install certain stuff, it gives me an insufficient storage space available um, error on my phone. I have to reflash the firmware and, and reroute it, but <clears throat> I'd rather make this video first. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using A-Torrent. You can use U-Torrent, BitTorrent, whatever you'd like. It's the, the process is identical for all of them. So first things first, open up the Play Store, and you can see I've already searched for Torrent Downloader, and that will give you all of the... Uh, all of the different torrent downloaders, T-Torrent, A-Torrent, U-Torrent, BitTorrent, T-Torrent Pro, blah, blah, blah. So uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to install A-Torrent. You see the little install button up there, tap on that, and then accept and download. Now remember, when downloading torrents, only download stuff that you own a legal copy of. Don't download stuff illegally. Don't download movies illegally. All right, so it's installed A-Torrent. Um... I'm going to be downloading the movie Contraband. I already own the movie Contraband on DVD. I'm going to be downloading that as a backup only. Alright, now, after you got it installed, you'll see a torrent right there on my home screen. You do not need to open it. Simply go to your favorite web browser and find yourself a torrent to download. As you can see, I already have this uh, torrent right here. Contraband. I'll even post a video response that shows that I have a legal copy of Contraband for anybody who might think I'm bluffing. I purchased it illegally with money. Come on, focus camera. We're going to concern ourselves only with the magnet download button. It's going to be the, the green button that is right there. You see that magnet download? We're going to tap on the magnet download, and it is on automatically going to open up ATorrent, Contraband, Destination Folder. You can change that to whatever you'd like. Files Content, you can change that to whatever you'd like. Uh, I actually want to download this to my external SD. So I'm going to find my external SD, which is right there. Oh, Jesus. right there and you see that's the stuff that's already on my uh, external SD you hit the select button and then you hit the download button and then it will do the rest for you and then you'll see all it will find peers it will download all that good stuff as you can see it begins relatively quickly it does all the work for you and then it will give you a toast notification up, up here it will tell you that it is, uh, you know, it'll give you the progress, speed, all that. You know, it says 9 minutes remaining, downloading at 1.6 megabytes a second right now because my internet connection is fucking badass. Um, one thing you may want to do to avoid overages on your, um, on your data, um, you're going to want to go into settings, and then you see that one right there that says Wi-Fi only? Check that, so you don't incur extra data. Make sure that Wi-Fi only is checked, and then it will only download stuff on Wi-Fi connections. Because trust me, you'll bite right through your data pretty quickly. I mean, shit, there's movies out there that are bigger than two, two gigabytes, so if you have two gigs of data, you'll end up using it all in a matter of, you know, a movie and a half or something. So that's basically it, guys. And then once the movie downloads, uh, it will rescan. It'll rescan your uh, SD card. It will show up in your normal gallery. Or you can use MX Player or whatever your favorite, you know, app is for opening whatever type of file you downloaded. But um, if you're downloading movies, if you happen to download a movie, if it, if it won't play on your phone, 
go back to the Play Store and look for uh, video codecs. Sometimes you might need a codec. You can look for the MX Player video codecs, the uh, VidCon video codecs, ARM V6, ARM V7, and those should solve your issues. Uh, if, uh, if need be, I can put up a tutorial on how to do that. Um, you know, if you if you comment in the description, I mean, if you uh, if you leave a comment that says that you can't figure out why a movie won't play, just let me know, and I'll throw up a, a response video that shows how to install the codex. All right, guys, that's it for today. Remember, don't download anything you don't own a legal copy of. And Swarm Leader is signing out.